In this ye olde diving disaster myth, an air supply failure puts the squeeze on an entire diver. So could a mistake up top mean death down below? To find out, the team has found the perfect location. With an added bonus. That is so cool. And after their brush with the life aquatic, it's down to business. We're at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom in Vallejo, where they have a diving tank that's deeper than any pool we can find. So we figured this is the best place for us to do all of our small scale testing. <laughs> we survived the trip. Oh, cool. You painted them red. Yeah, that way, if something does happen, we'll be able to see if his body does get sucked up into the helmet. And it's a little more gory. Oh, a little bit. To test this myth, Tori's going to take our diver down to the bottom of the pool. Grant and I are going to be at the top monitoring, shut down the compressor, see what happens. Well, what should happen is a drastic pressure differential. As the diver descends, the compressed air counteracts the pressure of the water outside. However, when the air supply is cut, the balance is lost, and the force of the water pushes in on the soft suit. But at only 15 feet under, will the water pressure be enough to squish the tiny diver into his helmet? The team is skeptical. My feeling is, since the gelatin is the same density as water, since it's basically made up of water, I don't think we're going to see much happen. Even though the gelatin is much softer than the human body, I still have a really hard time believing that we're going to get the kind of pressure it's going to take to push the body up into the helmet. But that's why we do small scale testing. So to put the theory to the test. OK, pressurizing the suit. Tori takes the diver to the deep end. And Carrie okay. and Grant pull the proverbial plug. OK, compressor failure in three, two, one. This season, myths will fall. All new Mythbusters, Wednesday at 9, only on Discovery.